Hello guys, what is going on? On this video, we're gonna build a front bumper for this Jeep. This are looks out of the factory. This is a 2017 Jeep Rubicon. On a previous video, we installed this winch, built the bracket for it too. So it's time to work on the front bumper. We cut these square pieces of metal, drill them, put bolts on, weld the back side of it. This is how you're gonna install and remove our bumper when it's finished. Most R brackets is built with a quarter inch steel. We're gonna be using a cardboard for most of our templates because it's easy to bend and cut. And after we're gonna be cutting our metal and welding it. This is how it looks that piece that we were using on cardboard. Pretty much we were gonna measure them a couple times, tack them so that way it don't move but we don't want to weld the whole the whole piece together because if it's not right it will be too hard to remove and readjust that's why we use a lot of tacking pretty much we're gonna tack the whole bumper in before we start welding we start cutting some of the, uh, the sheet metal that is gonna cover the actual bumper as, as you can see here on this one we got the top we got the bottom already cut and we got this strip that goes on top uh, we're still gonna get close on top on top we're gonna get close to our winch not completely enclose it just to get close to it oh here it is that's how it looks and um, as you can tell it's all the whole bumper is pretty much just tack tack welder on here's the design my brother come up to uh, it's just gonna follow pretty much the front grill this design we're not gonna go far out to to the fenders because we don't want to cover the front tires and as you can see here, we're still using a lot of used to use the cardboard as our templates. And we just cut them, tack them, bend them, tap them, hammer them. We do everything we can. And our design, we don't have it. Uh, we just going along. Whatever we think is gonna work. Pretty much we got an idea on our head, but we didn't know it's gonna come out like this. When we start but I think it's looking pretty good we're not gonna worry about gaps or anything like that it's gonna be filled up with uh, when we weld it all together but I think so far I'm pretty happy with it the words coming out uh, we're working on the other side as you get, can see on some areas where they have like different angles we tack them in uh, we tap it with the hammer bending the pieces and this grinding it's just pretty much metal work but it's fun i mean it's easy to buy go out there and buy bumpers already built but how fun is that you know this is what we like to do hang out and build stuff you guys can see how it's taking shape now and I think, it's, I think it's going along pretty good. Let me tell you, it takes a lot of grind to get all these pieces uh, lined up. And that's how basically the bumper is going to look. Uh, we should still have uh, a lot more work to do on it. As you can see, we not we didn't go out out and cover the wheel. 
we left it, uh, the wheels exposed as we wanted to do. We cut in this slot with the with the winch uh, cable is gonna run through, and we're gonna use this bracket. So as we uh, go replace the factory cable, and we're gonna use a uh, synthetic rope. We got some rust in the bumper because uh, we installed it on, left it on for the week, and now we're back to work on it. We got some rust on it, but it's, it's fine, it's just service rust. So basically, right now, we just welding the whole bumper. We weld the whole thing outside, every gap, every angle, all the pieces are gonna be welded together. And we're also going to weld inside uh, just to reinforce some areas after we weld the whole bumper we're going to be grinding on the outside very much all the weld you're gonna grind them down to the metal that's how it looks after all the grinding and uh, as you can tell it gets pretty smooth you couldn't tell uh, really what it was welded out or whatnot and uh, I think it looks pretty good we are we're happy with it that's how it looks in the inside and uh, as you can tell it was welded in the inside some areas too and reinforced and we're gonna uh we're spraying with some uh anti-rust primer paint just to uh don't rust again <laughs> uh, on this in on this uh footage it looks pretty shiny but this paint actually when it dry it has a nice flat this is how it looks when it's back on the jeep i think it looks pretty good we still have uh a lot more work to do on this bumper we're gonna build the brackets for the D rings and uh, also we're gonna put some fog locks on it but pretty much this how it's gonna look inside those two things and after we're gonna uh, remove it remember this is only prime so we're gonna remove it and have a powder coated the front and the rear bumper which we built a month ago and we also gonna build uh, the fenders the rack slider fenders so stay tuned I'm gonna have a video for that and uh, we also gonna lift it and tires on it just gonna be a whole bunch of good videos about this Jeep in the process of doing it and uh yeah don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos uh, hit like share it uh, and i see you soon